What's going on everybody? It's your boy. Y'all already know what it is, what y'all tuned in for. Alright, right quick, some charge announcements. Two things I want you guys to look forward to. Of course, y'all know I'm going to do uh, Workout New York, Blacking Crew, and uh, Love of Hip Hop. The last two will be done tomorrow. Tuesday, I will <clears throat> tell you guys what the uh, BU 3 365 January challenge is. All right, so stay tuned for that on Tuesday. Wednesday, I want to get you hit you guys with a tea time talk and i uh, tell you guys story of when I came home Jewish. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. So without further ado, now that I got the bullshit out the way, let's go ahead and hop into the Real Housewives households of Atlanta. Alright y'all, so I'm not gonna talk about er thing. I'ma try to hit the key points low. Shit, everybody on Periscope right now, except for my black ass. Anyway, so um we see Roger Bob, Demetri McKinney, Don Juan, and uh Candy. Uh Candy is uh she mentions that she's the executive producer on uh Demetri's album, which you know Demetri even brought it up. You know how she didn't want to work with her at the beginning due to <clears throat> doing business with friends. But again, you got to get a contract. So, you know, Demetria tried to give her impression. I didn't like her impression. Now, my impression is that, you know, I don't really work with anybody. I like my better. But you know what? She tried, but she was like hard about it. I felt she could have gave a little bit more, but that's all right. That's all right. Now the label, uh, now the, uh, Demetria and uh, Candy did a duet. The label wants them to push that as the first single. Don Juan and Jessica, his whole thing is, because he's the general manager of, I believe, uh, Candy Code Knights or the Candy Factor, whatever she has. And he and like, because his main focus is the uh, baby. <clears throat> Her and the baby. And, you know, I know a lot of people go think that he is overstepping his boundaries, but I'm going to say this. One, he is a friend. So I know he was speaking out of being a friend. But here's the thing, and let's just call him up from the spade to spade. He friends, but he also works for her. And he's in charge of a lot of shit that she does. He's very in tune with her fucking personal life. <clears throat> Let her have a fucking miscarriage. Who gonna have to hear this shit? Carmen? Don Juan? Todd? Exactly. That's all I'm gonna say. So... Yeah, he being a little bit extra, but it's one of those which it's like as a friend and as her general manager, I mean he doing what he doing. So it is what it is. I will give him a pass. All right, on that. Fake trust. So we, uh Bun Apollo's friend, you know, he stops by to uh, you know, see the kids. She threw some shade like at least one of his friends stopped by. Here's the thing. Ain't none of his friends have any obligations to see y'all motherfucking children, let's be honest, because those are his fucking friends. I would assume that Bun is a motherfucking godfather, and if that's the case, he better have his ass there any fucking way. Uh, Bun mentioned how Apollo has said that the fam ain't seen him nor contacted him. She shuts that down, apparently. Apparently, her and Apollo knew each other way the fuck back when, but you can hear her voice that, okay, I... We just have to make this shit work for the kids. We all knew, and one thing, if, and I know, and they made sure Bravo Andy messy as hell, but he showed that uh, Aiden was looking on, and that right there just goes to show y'all. Look, y'all, when it comes to children, y'all may not think they know, but they see a lot of shit, they hear a lot of shit, and they pick up fucking habits. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm, I just want to throw it out there. Just be weary. Your kids may know more than what you think they do. All right, just gonna go ahead and breeze through uh, this next part. I don't know what the fuck is over my lighting. Like, did I just sit here and become dusted all of a sudden? Okay, there it is. I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry, y'all. All right. <laughs> mm, so, um, Candy is on the um, set for un uh, Unnecessary Trouble, the video shoot that she's doing with uh, Demetria McKinney. And um, you have Fakedra and Horsha that uh, come through. We're just like, okay, those were the only girls that were invited. A little awkward. But what really got me is, I understand that Fake Tra is there to support Candy, but my, I'm surprised, uh, <clears throat> well, actually the way that it panned out, I don't think she interacted with Demetria. Because lest y'all forget what happened when they was in Puerto Rico. 
I know I said it wrong, I can't really roll my R's and shit. But we all remember what happened. She got that ass swift, swiftly together. We all can agree to disagree, but she got that ass together, okay? Okay, while yours is going away for eight mine has been here. Come on, come on through. Come on through, Demetria. Come on through. Okay. <clears throat> and you know, Candy, actually Don Juan is being overly protective. But it's one of those things where it's just like you have to have somebody like that in your corner. In general, for the females in my life, I am super fucking protective in more than one aspect so i can kind of see that that's the friendship side of him coming in now i will say todd should have been a little bit more active <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me but at the same exact time hey it's his job to do what the fuck he doing so let him work but i just need for todd to be a little bit more engaged because you know if some shit go left that is his child they had to sit here and pay good money for her. but we <clears throat> and i mean here's the thing we all know they can't pay for shit shit she paid for the dick so shit she paid for the baby but she got them coins she got that boy then you got uh, <clears throat> Kenya Marlowe at the gym. Kenya's uh, trainer friend, Matt, walks up. Uh, Marlo is like, y'all need to go out on a date. She agrees to one date with him. Kenya shades, of, you know, slight shades. I'm talking about, so, well, you know, you like the old men with the coins. She was like, well, I do like the coins, but I'm looking for true love. I'm just like, all right. So, <clears throat> you know, she threw the shade, but it's nice that Marlo can, one, own her shit, but at the same exact time, be, able, be like, eh, whatever, bitch, whatever. So, yeah, that's all I got for right now. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so we got Cynthia and Peter. I didn't mention it earlier, but apparently it's going to it's uh something to mention. He uh sent uh Cynthia some uh flowers. Uh you know, trying to, you know, soften things up, of course, that wasn't a big enough gesture, so he uh let her tell it he drove 5 hours to take me on a date. Uh that's still not a grand fucking gesture. But, you know, hey, if she like I said, if she like it, I love it and now I'm gonna follow in with the fuck storyline shit. Take on day, like brush type food, had a sketch artist there. It was cute, it was nice. Moving on. Kenya and uh, Matt, they're on a day, you know. It's nice, it's flirty, it's fun. Uh, she says he's uh, still too young and uh, doesn't have all the needs that she uh, would like for a man to have. And she's not necessarily not going to give him a second date, but she's not, uh, I guess, turning a blind eye to it either. So a second date is up in the air, but it's not a definite. Then you got fake tro with Aiden's first day of school. Um, Aiden is nervous and, um, <clears throat> you know, pretty much said that he wants his mother to be with him wherever he goes, being selfish as shit, but, you know, it's cheering. Um, you know, fake tro didn't think that he would grow so fast. He's like, well, I'm always going to be your baby, which was cute. <clears throat> okay, it was cute. I got a look, mm, and then it went away, and I'm going to tell y'all why in a second. Um, and, you know, Fake Trick gives us some real fucking tears for fucking once on this damn show. Something fucking real. But I'm going to say this. Um, the only reason why I couldn't get too invested in this particular scene, because here's the thing. I understand that, yes, <clears throat> everybody's going to have different storylines. I just don't like the fact that her children are going to be her storyline and further bashing her husband is going to be her storyline. Like I said before, I don't know if I said this on, on a video, but if I didn't, we have seen Kenya promote her shit, Portia promote her shit, Kim, Candy, who am I missing? And Cynthia, all five of them in some way, shape, or form have promoted what it is they do in some way, shape, or form. What the fuck has a... Uh, Fake to promote it. Not shit. This fraudulent motherfucker ain't showed a shit. I ain't seen her work on a motherfucking case yet. I ain't seen her bury a motherfucking body yet. I ain't seen her ass do shit. I have not seen her go to her motherfucking rental ass fucking studio, whatever the fuck she want to call her mother. I ain't seen shit. So it's one of those things where it's just like, if you want me to follow your fucking storyline, give me something. But I'm not here for people using their kids. I said the same exact thing with the Braxton family list motherfucking values when Trina was using her kids as a fucking storyline. You and Gabe, cool, but uses your kids, I'm not here for it. Stop using y'all motherfucking kids as a storyline. If that's the case, be like T.I. and time to get your own motherfucking show. Alright, so, um, Horsha is FaceTiming with Oliver. Y'all, Oliver was cheesing like a motherfucking catfish, okay? That motherfucker was cheesing like he was the motherfucking cat off of Alice in motherfucking Wonderland. That's how the motherfucker was cheesing. I'm here to let y'all know right now. Um, and there, uh, she says that, you know, she be in the gym lately, you know, trying to keep this shit snatched for his ass, okay? Like I said, I, as much as I don't like her, I will, I have to admit, she, she got a badass body, okay? I, I will say that. I mean, she got rocks for brains, but got a badass body, okay? 
And she was like, I lost seven pounds. He was like, I hope not in your ass. And she was like, mm, you know what? <clears throat> I think I might've been wearing a thong when I made you like, that's what attracted me. She was like, I thought it was my smile. Uh, no, what he was trying to tell your ass is, it must have been your ass cause it ain't your face. He want a tip drill. He didn't want to tell you, but I'm just break the motherfucking news to you. Okay. Uh, Kim is getting ready, you know, to uh, go to the uh, video release part of her born ass, moving the fuck on. Candy and Todd. Um, <clears throat> long story short, Candy pretty much said, if Hager hey, don't say nothing, I have to check. You don't say nothing. Uh, I would have hit up with Rihanna. Bitch better have my money. That's okay, you know, see, me and Todd, two different motherfuckers. First and foremost, I would have had Candy talk to Phaedra first, or I would have had her there as a mediator, because it's a business thing, but the same exact time, there's a friendship there, so I probably would have had my wife go talk to her first, but then it would have been like, okay, well, I'm gonna need for you to talk to this half over here when you have a fucking sit down. And my thing is this, you ain't finna owe me thousands of motherfucking dollars and things that I'm finna just, but you done lost your motherfucking money. Let, let me get back to this shit. Y'all, why the fuck it look like Kim got a, like a big ass, you know, shit of motherfucking dust bunnies on top of her motherfucking head? Just like all that fluffy, fruity shit. I already said she looked like the, you know, the lady in, you know, white from fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Look like she got motherfucking, you know, moth balls and cotton balls, a bag of that shit on her motherfucking head. She, she need to do something about that shit. I don't like it. Uh, <clears throat> so... All the girls that they talking about, uh, you know, well, Kenya brings up more matter because Peter was there with Cynthia. And you got Kim, it's like, oh, we just call our place Kim and Chris. <laughs> um, you are still fucking unimportant. So I'm going to have to ask you to smooth. Because here's the thing, y'all see she try, even like I said, I'm not team Toro. I do like Kenya, though. But you can see she trying to steal the shine. It's just like, just, just sit the fuck down somewhere. Um, uh, so the man goes sit down and, you know, Patricia brings up, you know, uh, what, what's up with you and the money because she owe you some money to get your money. Uh-huh. Being messy. <laughs> like I said, he deserves his peach and we going to talk about the other one that deserves the motherfucking peach and better. Uh, Candy does the announcement instead of Demetria. I felt Demetria should have did the announcement kind of passed a little bit of that on Candy because you know again I understand she's the biggest star but you need to claim your damn spotlight boo boo and uh let me grab my damn remote I'm gonna have to pause this shit because this probably gonna come back on before I finish this so um Candy you know gives her um speech she was pretty much saying how I was apprehensive about doing this you know because of uh friendships in the past and you know uh doing a uh, business or working with people in this circle now I don't think no, she said that shit on purpose. Ah, yeah, she said that shit on purpose. And of course, you know that shit. Look, here's the thing. Y'all know a motherfucking hit dog will holler. And I think that Phaedra took it the way that she probably should have taken it. She go to Todd, be like, Todd, uh, I can you stop by my office? But she ain't motherfucking say. Why well, I would be like, uh, why, why must I, I? I'm a mess at home. Okay, I'm a messy motherfucker. I would be like, why am I stopping by your office? Uh, uh, what are we gonna talk about? I didn't, I didn't know before I could get. I would have been messy as hell. And they're, uh, speaking of messy hoes, so, uh, Shamia and Horsha go outside with Phaedra, and, you know, she want to start telling them, again, her version, her story of events, which she's entitled to do that. Now, Don Juan Ash lurking, they want to, you know, they want to say that, uh, yeah, it's back on, hit pause on that. They want to say that, uh, Tammy was lurking, no, Don Juan Ash was lurking, I know a lurker when I see one. And he hit him talking about the shit. You got, you know, Horsha, who I'm, I mean, here's the thing. Is she a businesswoman? Yes, but I highly doubt she's one of those that she's in the midst of everything. Because you can see she has a staff. Motherfuckers, they help her little simple ass out. But she's talking about some, well, if you didn't pay him this, that is all, that's enough. I would say emails. I'm going to have to ask you to, again, shut the fuck up and just look pretty, okay? Just like we all agree that Tyree just need to shut the fuck up and sing, she need to shut the fuck up and look motherfucking pretty, okay? That's all the fuck she need to do. She need to stop motherfucking talking and shit. And there, uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm finna press play back on this because I, I want to hit the mess that Don Juan asked for the spiel. Hold on. Okay, first off, can I can I say that I think next week is finna give me all the motherfucking life that I need. I'm gonna be so fucking here for it. Okay, here's the thing, Don, you know Don Juana. Let's talk about Don Juana. Okay. So, you know, hey, they do they back and forth, and you know, he says to you know, horse, you be an astronaut, Don Juana. 
I'm here for your edges, but motherfucker, your ass extra too, okay? <laughs> and she shades him, you know, a nice and cute light will get you some water and get you some rest. So, you know, she did say he was thirsty in the confessional, so I'm glad she threw that. He was like, yeah, go get the man that, that left. I, I did, I did, but I fell the fuck out. Like, come on through, come on through. Now, look, we can sit here and say that Don Juana is extra this, that, and third, but again, y'all, I, because you know, I don't know how many times I gotta say this on this platform. Who the fuck, like, think about, you know, when all the girls holding their peach. Who the fuck is in the middle? Candy. Who the fuck keeps storylines and shit fucking moving? Candy. Who the one cashing all the motherfucking checks? Candy. Who the one that keep getting motherfucking spin-offs? Candy. Pretty shit Don Juan know what the fuck he doing. I'm pretty shit Don Juan is like, you know what? I'm going to help you stay, you know, you know, uh, what, what is it? You know, the queen bitch. I, I forget. Head bitch in charge. There it is. HBIC. Make sure that that is what the fuck she stays. Okay? And here's the thing on some real shit. You know, <clears throat> I probably would did the same. Yeah, I probably... Mm, I might have did the same thing. I don't really like arguing with females and shit. But at the same, at the same motherfucking time, no, my thing is... I would have been like, look, I overhear y'all say shit about my peoples. What I would recommend is because I didn't heard a lot of it. I'm not finna run back and tell that, but I think it'd be best if instead of y'all sitting here chit chatting, either A, take it away so can't nobody else hear it, or B, approach them. Because if y'all still here in the vicinity talking about the shit, then obviously you want somebody to hear the fuck shit. Number one. Two, you know what? Fuck it. Don, Don Juana, thank you for sitting here and bringing the tea back to motherfucking Kansas so she can sit here and check that motherfucking bitch that she be sitting here sleeping around with Todd. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get Shamia ass together. And I cannot wait for pregnant ass Candy to sit here and read the motherfucking breaks of horse your dumb ass, okay? Knock some of them motherfucking rocks out of her motherfucking head. That's all the fuck I got. That's y'all damn review for the Real Households of Atlanta. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Hope y'all like this shit. I'm going to see y'all ass on this motherfucking video. Peace.